हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल करियर चार्ट विथ आर के सो एंड वेलकम टू अवर एस क्यू एल क्वेरीज प्ले लिस्ट सो दिस इज अवर फोर्थ पार्ट इंटरव्यू आज एस क्यू एल क्वेरीज प्ले लिस्ट पार्ट फोर सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ द इंटरव्यू आज एस क्यू एल क्वेरीज सो दिस इज द वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट क्वेरीज इफ यू डिडेंट वॉच दी प्रीवियस थ्री प्ले लिस्ट वीडियोज प्लीज गो एंड वॉच so it will helpful for you in the sql interviews okay so let's start with the first uh, query that is display first name and gender as m f so if male then m if female then f so first i will show you what is the table that i have created in the sql so as you can see this table i have created uh, in this uh, for creating uh, these queries okay or to solve these queries i have created this table if you want to create the same table i have given the syntax in the uh, playlist first video uh, description box so you can check the first video uh, description in this playlist okay go and watch the first video and in the first video description i have given the syntax to create the table and insert values into the table or you can create your own table as well so let's start with the first query so as you can see uh, in the company employee table we have a genders that is male female but i just want to show if the uh, gender is male just i want to show m if the gender is female then i just want to show f okay so i just want to show short form of this uh, male and female names so for that you need to select first name okay because we want uh, to show first name as well then we need to write case in that case we need to write when gender is equal to male so when the gender is male then what we want then we want m sign okay because we want to show the short form of this name and when the gender is is equal to female okay then what we want to show then we want to show f okay short form of this male and female and end as gender okay so we want to end it as a gender so from which table from company employee table okay so let's see the query once again we have selected first name comma case when gender is equal to male then m when gender is equal to female then f end as gender from company employee okay so this is the our table that is company employees okay and let's execute this query so i will once explain you again the query that is we have selected first name from the table then we have selected sorry uh, then we have created one case that is when gender is equal to male then we want to show m and when the gender is equal to female then we want to show f end as gender from company employees table so let's execute this query and watch our result so as you can see the in the uh, desired uh, like result we have get our desired output that is when the uh, first name is like male then we want to show only m and the uh, first name is like female then we want to only show f okay so that's it in this query i hope you get this query so let's move to the next query that is select first name from company employees table prefix with hello so as you can see in this table here is the first name so in the first name i want to show before in this first name like hello bob hello alice so every first name before i want to show the hello prefix okay like this uh, hello bob okay like this i want to show in every name so for that we need to create one query that is select okay select hello because we want to show this hello prefix to 
first name okay first name in the table from which table from company employees table so what it will create it will given the prefix to every first name that is hello plus your first name so let's execute this query and as you can see it is given prefix to every your first name that is hello jane hello bob hello alice likewise okay so that's it in this query let's move to the next query that is get employee details from company uh, employees table whose salary is greater than 16000 okay so for that it's a very simple query we want to find those employee whose salary is greater than 60000 so let's select star from employees we want to select the employees from company employee table where salary salary is greater than 60000 so with the help of this query we can easily find the employees whose salary is greater than 60000 likewise same query let's move to the next query i will duplicate this query control c and control v so in this table what is our like uh, need that is get in this query we want get the employee details from company employees table whose salary is less than so instead of greater than sign we need to use less than and our value that is salary is less than 70000 okay so we want to find those employees whose salary is less than 17000 so as you can see these are the our employees whose salary is less than 70000 okay so let's move to the next query that is get employee details from company employees table whose salary is between 50000 and 60000 so you need to use because we want to find the range so for that you can use between operator here uh, so let's write the query that is select star from company employees where salary okay where because we want to find the range of that salaries so you can use between operator here where salary is between okay 50,000 and 60,000 so it will given you the desired output that is whose salary is 50,000 and 60,000 in between 50,000 and 60,000 okay so that's it in this queries so let's move to the next query that is we want to find the second highest salary from the company employees okay so in this table as you can see uh, the i think uh, 75 i will just once execute this table and as you can see in this table i think 75000 is our highest salary and second highest salary is 70000 okay so now i want to find the second highest salary that is 70000 so for that we need to write one query that is uh, with the help of sub query we can find this output and there is the uh, another way as well but the sub query is a simple way and i will explain you that that is select star from oh sorry we want to find select max salary from company employees table where now we write the sub query here that is where salary is less than and this our query take this into the sub query complete the bracket okay so what we do actually here select max salary from company employee so it will gives us the first salary like highest salary from the table where salary is greater than or sorry less than salary is less than max salary from company employees okay so let's execute this query so it will show select 
max salaries from so what's wrong here select max salary from company employees where salary is less than select max salary okay from employee table so in the previous query actually i forgot to use select here so that's why it will shows errors to us so in this query as you can see the first query that is select max salary from company employee it will gives us the max salary from the table but this sub query select salary is less than select max salary from company table so this sub query gives us the second max salary from the table so as you can see the 70000 as we have already seen the 70000 is the second max salary in this table okay so let's move to the next query that is write the query to get the department and department wise total sum of uh, salary from company employee the, uh, like company employees table okay so actually what uh, we want here let's first uh, understand the query that is write the query to get the department and department wise total sum so basically we want to find the department and the department wise total sum of salary so in which department how much the total sum of salary okay so this is the query basically so let's write the query that is select first we want to select department comma we want to find sum of salary okay in each department as i will take it as total salary okay and from which uh, table that is from company employees table and we want to group by department because we want to find the in each department sum of salary so we need to group by this department and if i execute this query so it will shows department wise total salary sum of total salary so let's execute this query and as you can see we have the departments and department wise total salaries so in which department how much the sum of total salary so that's it in this query let's move to the next query that is write the query to get the department and department wise total sum of salary display it in ascending order according to salary okay so let's understand the query first so in this query basically we want to show department and department wise total salary but in ascending order okay so let's write the query select same query just you need to assign the descending sorry ascending in this query so same query but i will write you so it will helpful to us that is total salary so what i have done here Be same thing just select department because we want to say uh, find the department and department wise total sum of salary so all the queries are same just after total salary from company employees table group by department and from here the all query is same but in this query we have one extra condition that is display it in ascending order according to salary so here we need to use order by sum of salary in the ascending order okay because we have this extra condition in this query so that's why these parts we need to write extra to get the desired output and let's execute this query so this query basically gives you the same uh, like output but it will like order by uh, it will order your total salary by this ascending order okay so it will order your salary ascending so that's it in this query let's move to the next query that is uh, write the query to get the department and and department wise total sum of salary display it in descending order according to salary 
so as you can see the query is same everything is same just i will duplicate this query control c control v and in this query we have a condition that display it in ascending order and in this query we have a condition that is display it in descending order according to salary so i have already created the query just we need to use instead of ascending we need to use descending here and let's execute this query so it will gives us the desired output that is it will like uh, uh, group by the departments and uh, our or, uh, salary is ordered by like descending so it will gives us the desired output as per the query so just instead of ascending you need to use descending to order by your uh, total salary okay so it will sort your salary as per like descending and ascending order uh, so let's move to the last query in this video that is write the query to get the department total number of departments total sum of salary with respect to department from company employee table so let's understand the query first so we need to write the query to get the department so let's select department first okay so department is selected then total number of uh, depart total number of department so basically we want to find the count of total number because with the help of count we can find the total number of department counts as we will take as department count okay comma then what we want then we want total sum of salary so we will take sum of salary okay from which table from company employee table okay and then the next condition is when we take the total sum of salary with respect to department from company employee table so we need to group it with department so let's group by department so that's it in this query just we have selected department count of the department as department count comma then we need sum of salary so sum of salary from company employees table and we need to group by this department let's execute this query and it will gives you the desired output that is your departments the departments of count in our table we have two finance department two hr departments two it departments and two marketing departments and as per department the total sum of salary are here so that's it in this uh, video and uh, that's it in this queries so if you like this video please do like and subscribe for the channel and uh, thank you guys thank you so much